It's food time. Hi guys, welcome to food time. My name is Chef Ali Latis and we are back with a bang. Let's start cooking. All right guys, we are gonna start with making our matoke. So as you can see, as I'm peeling it, it's nice and white, but in a couple of minutes, or maybe seconds, it's gonna turn into a duck shed. I'm just gonna slice it, like really fast. And here, I already have lots of matoke. Yeah, you love what you do. So basically, you just need around a half a liter of water. You just want to pour it in. Maybe add some more. And you wanna put a bit of some salt. So I'm going to do the salt, and what will the salt do? It will boil this to a very yellow color, a beautiful, beautiful yellow color. So we're going to make a coconut sauce, which is going to be tuila nazi. I'm just going to season it with a bit of some salt. And maybe a bit of some black paper. Get that nice, beautiful punch. And then I'm going to take it up to my thing so and now let's start preparing our vegetables for this stuff fry. i'm gonna start peeling my onion as you know my show i like doing everything from scratch so i take my garlic i'm gonna bang good a nice banging of course as usual when you bang it i'm gonna cut this into two and very quickly i'm gonna do nice slices and then you want to finely chop the garlic. I'm going to take a bit of some chili. Chop. I'm going to get a bit of my lime. At least now I know this is lime. I'm going to do a bit of some ginger. You know I'm a spicy chef. I love my food nice and spicy. So let's go down here. Let's go down rough cuts. I'm just going to do very nice rough cuts of my coriander. I have my silver side. As you can see that I pre-marinated it because silver side is one tough part of the meat. You're talking about really tough. So you need to boil it and boil it and boil it and boil it. What I did, I just took a slice of pineapple and what I did is basically just squeezing it all over. This juice works miracles. I need nice slices of my silver side. So I'm gonna do strips. And after, um, just in case maybe you, don't, you do not have pineapple, of course papaya. Papaya is a very traditional tenderizer that is known all over when you're making biryani and when you're making all sorts of things. Papaya is something that's really, really ideal in terms of tenderizing. Mika Gini Kuka! Yay! All right, so what I want to do now, you want to put it on, and you'll see a nice blue color. And then now you want to set your temperatures that you need, which is 180 to maybe 220, basically, if you're doing stuff right. But the Mika Gini Kuka, what it does, it's actually a genie. It can boil, it can stir fry, it can be a hot pot, it can slow cook, and at the same time, it can bake. How amazing is it? Again, and then, I want to make rice, as usual. My show would never be done without rice. Of course, in Mombasa, we love our rice. And to penda mchele wetu, kwa utapika tena mchele. Yani wakutokosa, toma tuangalie vile takavoza kufanya mchele wetu. So I'm just going to do my olive oil. So very quickly, what I want to do here, I'm going to take a bit of my onions. Just going to put it inside. Onions, garlic, ginger everything now let's talk about the thai products i have yellow curry paste very very ideal <clears throat> flavor for thai food it has all the beautiful ingredients we're talking about you know lemongrass and all these amazing flavors that you need all the way from thailand to get the beautiful thai flavors so i'm just going to take like at least a teaspoon of the thai yellow curry paste and then i'm going to take <clears throat> some sweet and sour Thai chili paste, which will give you that nice Thai feel. Yani wao tajua unakula chakula uko Thailand kumbe uko Mombasa. Tezea. 
chezea food time. Look at that. Nice. Beautiful. Take this aside. Get all the flavors from the spoon, but make sure that you don't touch the ceramic side of the pan. Oh, it smells like Thailand already. Now, coming back to my, oh, look at that. My toke. <laughs> it's about time that I need to put my tui on top, which is the tui la nazi. And I'm gonna let it boil further. Mika going down here and it's time to see what's happening. Look at that. Don't I love this genie cooker? It's a genie just like myself. Very quickly, I want to add in my beautiful touches. We're talking about, you know, the cashew nuts and that kind of Thai flavor. So very quickly, just going to drizzle some, just to give it the Thai taste again. I'm just going to take some Tom Yum paste, which is a Thai ingredient. I'm just going to bing it. Don't worry about it. You bing, opens. Good. Going back to what's happening here, but now, yeah, I need to do a bit of some raisins into the rice. So I have raisins and I'm just gonna sprinkle it on my rice. Of course, my show without rice doesn't make sense. And of course, now I need a salad. Yani mambo bila saladi. And at the same time, it's time to serve my beautiful, beautiful rice. Got that? Just gonna take it around again. Of course, some raisins rice. I'm a wali wasabibu. And by at the same time, unaule utamu waki Thailand. Sasa kama hapa mulivona leo tumetengeza chakula kutumia Mika Jini Kuka. And of course, at the same time, I have my rice beautifully cooked, Thai inspired meat with some raisin rice to go with matoke yanazi, easy boil with beautiful coconut milk. And then you have your meat on top, and I have a beautiful salad. Very nice and quick. It's time to munch and see what's happening. And of course, I will see you next time. Let me see how the meat tastes. Mmm, incredible. I'm in Thailand with Mika Jinikuka. Until next time, see you. Let me munch, guys. It's a nilibon.